And actually, Aboriginal people aren't part of the problem, they're part of the solution. You have to go back and expect all of this goodwill from people who have been betrayed by governments just one more time. 1992 with Lisa Belair by Ruth Barney. I think everyone wants to be proud of this country, but in order to be, to be proud of, of whatever it means to be Australian, we've got to acknowledge what's gone on to the Indigenous community in this country. And today I'm just fighting back. Call me Jean, Jean Rees. That's my real name, he says, dropping the sheet. The book is um, quite unique in terms of Australian literature because it's written partly in our Aboriginal language, our Gugudha language, and the reason why that is, is because um, my mother wanted her story told in a way that um, people reading it would see through her eyes and feel what she felt as a child. Uh, in Australia, we um, have a number, we have a colonial history. I believe what the world desperately needs right now and will need far more of in the future will be certain types of writers who have learned how to become far more powerful storytellers of the universal local by being story makers of the changing realities of millions of people who, who will need stories that they can know and understand and recognise and will help to make sense of the world. I don't talk very much about spiritual beliefs um, but I do feel somehow that we're guided by, by the spirits of our ancestors. The, the atoms and the DNA and everything we leave around goes to build the rocks and the earth and, and you know, in the air around. I, I suppose I, I wrote so much about wanting to be a poet because the, for the first few years of doing it, I didn't feel like a writer. I, I, I don't want people to get sick of my voice. Mm. I don't want to hear someone sick of my voice, so... Oh, I get... You fall down, you get up and you continue to go on. We have no failures. Today, your dream is ahead of you. Dream big.